Oh, look at those guys. <gasps> Hey there, and welcome to Inside the Life of a Mom and Mental Health Coach. If you're new here or you haven't already, please give that subscribe button some love and make sure you turn on that little bell so you're notified when new videos go live. <sighs> I just felt like picking up the camera today. Um, we're back from Washington. Guys, I gotta be so real. I <laughs> just start this vlog off with a talk. Um, September was like a crazy month for me, and I'm gonna record a whole podcast episode on it because there was just so much. Uh, to process and work through <sighs> basically had some like financial misalignment with like how I was spending my money like in my business and all those things and led to some tough conversations also had to experience what it was like to be three weeks um, late on my period and thinking I was pregnant the whole time not thank you and then also experiencing um, tonight like full-blown tinnitus which if you don't know what tinnitus is it's basically constant ringing in your ears so music has kind of been <laughs> helpful but um yeah just constant ringing in your ears it used to be like intermittent for me and now it's 24 7. and then on top of that you know like getting piper started with school and um just processing a lot of feelings anyway but the takeaway from all of that was honestly just like wanting to do things my way like it really, it's, it's something I keep working on, I keep coming back to, but it's just like not trying to do things the right way, not trying to do things the way that like that's how it works, it's the only way it works, and just like really just following my own lead, doing things my way, and not allowing myself to get overwhelmed and everything. And so that's just like it's coming into play in life, in business, in these freaking vlogs, because sometimes I get so I overwhelm myself. I like overthink about the vlogs. I'm like, how should I tag it? What should I title it? Should there be like a point to this video? And now I'm just like, F it. I don't want to deal with that. Anyway, I'm gonna start ranting at the like very beginning of this vlog. Um, because it's not what the whole vlog <laughs> is gonna be, but yeah, I just I wanna be I just wanna be real with you guys. And um so the things I'm working on right now, the things I'm practicing most are honestly doing things my way especially in business, um, which looks a lot like not working a lot because I'm determined to create freaking success, like massive success, without the dang hustle that eats away at everybody's mental illness. Mental illness? Mental health? Oh, jeez the weird. Yeah, I'm determined to prove that point, that you, we don't have to hustle. Like, it's, it's I'm gonna make it happen. And then also, real talk, we're, like, working on, like, loving being a mom more because sometimes I'll be straight. There are things I want to do for me or for whatever and you da 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 and being a mom sometimes feels like an inconvenience. I'm just gonna be honest, okay? I'm not one of those moms that's like, oh, I never want to leave my kids. I love them so much. Oh my God. <laughs> like, I love my kids. Don't get me wrong. Like, I have moments where I'm just like obsessed with them, but something I'm practicing is like just really enjoying being a mom on a really regular basis and Judge me if you will, if you're like, wow, Olivia, that's like shady. That's the truth. <laughs> Just cut, let's, let's come along on the day. I still have a vlog to edit. I'm um, hanging out with a friend tonight, and Piper is finishing up school right now, and then we have schoolwork to do, so join us. I can hear all the sounds. All the sounds. <laughs> sound number one, sound number two, sound number three. And now there's nothing playing in here. <laughs> Actually, sometimes I put on piano music just so it like drowns out all the other sounds. What sound number four would be my tinnitus? <gasps> what are you woofing about? What are you woofing about? She does that, she sits in here and she goes woof, woof, woof. Seems like I might not be getting together with a friend tonight, so mm. I'm gonna dive into that. <laughs> it's gonna happen. I like 
want to have an informed opinion. But at the same time, I'm not super excited to watch it. Because <laughs> mental health, you. Oh my gosh. I just finished watching that debate and I just, I'm so sorry for everybody's brains that had to endure that out there. I wanna talk about this debate for a second. I don't even have my thoughts fully formed yet, but like, I just need to speak about it because like, <sighs> if you can hear my child crying in the background, that's like how I feel a little bit. This vlog is just gonna be like all about, all about the hard stuff, man. All about, all about the tough stuff. But everybody's entitled to their opinion to their beliefs, to their perspectives, and I am only speaking from my own. But when I look at a person like Trump, and especially how he reacted during this debate, my heart goes out to him, man. Like, and I know maybe that wasn't the response you were expecting, but like, he must have grown up. I'm gonna have to handle this crying. I'm back, I got this. We're actually about to go. It's like less light in here now. We're actually about to go um, on a hike with Jim. He just texted and wants us to meet us, meet him somewhere. Anyway, so I'm just gonna wrap up my thoughts on this, but you know, he must have grown up in a household where he constantly had to prove himself and was constantly belittled. And it really manifested in these insecurities and this need to dominate and overpower and to not have the capacity. Hold on, boo, shh, hold on and not have the capacity to even listen to somebody um, who he feels might, you know, combat his perspective, his opinion, um, you know, in fear that, like, they're gonna get a word in, um, you know, and it was really just kind of a testament to that, that insecurity and that ego and that need, you know, that's where those words like great and best and number one and nobody's done it better. Like it's that like I have to build myself up because if I admit any kind of failure, if I admit any kind of crack, any kind of um, misstep, heaven forbid, I think his entire ego, his entire sense of self would just crumble. And you know, my heart goes out to him because, you know, that's, that's, a, that's a massive mental health issue. You know, he, he really, you know, it's, it's that narcissism, but it's because <laughs> he, he so much lacks that sense of self-love and clearly has no sense of self-control and is just really trying to, you know, prove this, this ownership that he has over himself and, and his things and anyway, so... You know, like that leads you to bullying people, it leads you to putting other people down, it leads you to not being able to listen or to have, be able to hold space for someone. Boo boo. You know, as much as I, oh this is not gonna work, oh me. <laughs> as much as I uh, personally dislike the man, uh, and, and don't agree with a lot of the things that he does. <laughs> oh, don't hit the lens, Vivi. Um, I, I can't help but have a, a, a sense of empathy for him because, gosh, he must be internally struggling, but, you know, convincing himself that he's not um, in order to cope, in order to not have to reflect and not have to grow. Um, so I, I'm going to take breaths. I'm going to lean into compassion, lean into love, lean into hope that people will vote and this will change. Um, because, you know, that's how I'm going to help my mental health. You want to kiss yourself? You want to kiss the people? <laughs> um, you know, and, and after watching that... I I mean, after watching that, my brain feels noisy, it feels overwhelmed, it feels exhausted. Just listening... <laughs> just like right now, like listening to somebody try to articulate what they're saying while somebody else is bombarding them. Um, and it just, yeah, it's it's overwhelming. So, you know, my heart goes out to you if you've watched that debate. Hey, and you plan to watch the next ones. Hey, can you take a breath? Ready? Ready? Take a breath with me. Hey, let's breathe together. Show them how we breathe. Ready? We do three breaths in. Let's do another. <laughs> ready? One last one. One big one. Okay, you ready to go for a hike? Yeah. Okay. 
take care of yourself. Uh, if, you, if you need support, if you're feeling hopeless, you're feeling anxious, you're feeling all over the place, you know, know that, you know, I help people with bipolar, anxiety, and depression. And go to my website, www.simplyolly.com. You can find my books, my podcasts, my free tools, and my program, Beat the Bad, there. Um, if you need support with your mental health, especially right now. Um, Man, I kind of feel better. I'm glad. Thank you. Thank you for holding this space for me because talking about that, expressing that, sharing that, um, I feel better. <laughs> I don't have the remote, guys. Uh, no, I really do feel better because as you can kind of see, like, it's that process of being like, this is real, this is how I feel, but also here's how I'm going to flip the perspective on it, and then here's how I'm going to take care of myself, and that's kind of how we process things and we move through them and we don't let them just, like, sit and fester. Now, I can't find the remote. <laughs> Jim and I were just discussing the bait, so now we've heard the debate. The bait? <laughs> the bait. Discussing the bait. Okay, but now we are in a peaceful zone. I mean, how can we not be? <sighs> oh, look at those guys. <gasps> you see them? They see us. Yeah, they do. Hey. Well, they don't care. They did not care. Good eye, Daddy. Good eye. I'm walking right by. I know. I mean, like, it wasn't like you had to have, like, a really good eye, but, like, none of us spotted it. Okay, tie it around your waist. Yep, tie it around your waist. Oh, uh, <sighs> what was that face? <laughs> Guys, they're like, no, get out of my grasp. You get out of my grasp. I don't want this. Girls. What are they doing? Oh, they're fighting. <gasps> He's like, get away from my grass pile. I want that grass pile. Guys, don't do that way. Don't do it. <gasps> oh. Oh. Was that like an accidental fight? Like they bumped into each other? I think he wanted that spot. Cause look, look who's there now. I know, yeah, you. It's Talking Jesus. about you. It's like, yeah, I wanted this spot. What, what? Oh my gosh, he's gonna go steal his pile again. You're just being a poop. Oh my gosh, he's just being a poop. He's like, I wanna eat where you're eating. Oh, get out of here. Side poke. Oh no, no. Not, not the butt. <laughs> you're like, I'm over it. I'm over it. Start going before you guys start butting your, her, your oh, antlers together. Oh, oh, got him in the side poke. No, stop it, guys. Stop it. Shit, there's so much grass. Whoa. Literally like children. Like, guys, there's so much grass. Just share. Just share. Okay. Can you just make a face with me? Huh? Just make a, like a thing suck face. Oh. She's not gonna stop. Thanks, babe. <laughs> This is how thumbnails are born. Seriously. Look at her. Look at her just like go. She's gonna fall. Don't manifest that. Get it, bro. We did not beat the sun. Nope. Where's Jim? Where'd he go? I'm here. Oh, hey. Uh, we'll get there. It'll be fine. Stairs. I feel like I need to be like, I need a naked and afraid camera. Like, I need some night vision. <gasps> oh. I can't see their path. <laughs> I just laughed because I wanted to like come home and like light fall candles <laughs> and like turn on our little like, like, light and it'd be super cute but instead we came home and had to throw away a dog bed that was peed on by a cat and had to like scrub the floor yeah you boo this is all you're doing why you do that you've never done that before so instead of lighting cute candles for you guys oh. what did you say <laughs> i said grape 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 moan 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 <laughs> <laughs> Also, our washer's broken. <laughs> Thank you. 
<laughs> Guys, sometimes life just sucks a little bit. It's fine. But it's up to us on how we handle it, how we handle our mental health through it, and how we support each other and get support. <laughs> No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Just to add to it, because why not? Like, and the kids put a sticker on the table. Why'd you do that? Why'd you do that? <laughs> anyway, I want to show you guys. Jim and the girls got Sammy here for me, and I love him to pieces. I can't hold this this way. I can't like hold him. I'm so scared I'm gonna drop him. Oh. Thank you. <laughs> So he sits here with your little pumpkin. And he's so cute. And when it's dark enough in the house, he shines a little jack-o'-lantern face onto the ceiling. It's backlighting though. <laughs> Look at this. Gratitude nuggets. Yeah. That's it. We're wrapping this vlog up. Give this video a like. Leave a comment. Man bun. Man bun. <laughs> Hashtag man bun. <laughs> Hashtag team man bun if you dig. And if you will, give it a share. Give it a share, my friends. Also, if you need mental health support, I said this earlier, but www.simplyally.com. I got you. And thank you so much for watching. Love you so much. As always, you keep saying simply awesome. I'll keep saying simply Ally, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye! Bye.